Now here's something different. This was given by our friends over at Lenovo Legion. It's actually been a while since I've used a membrane keyboard, so this might be a bit interesting to some of you, especially the more budget-minded ones. Let's go. Before we continue with this video, I would like to remind you that if you are enjoying this content, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I'm a solo content creator, and I do all this to make sure that all of you are informed about the products you're about to purchase. Every subscription helps keep this channel running. Thank you. Now, onto the video. So this is the Lenovo Legion K300 RGB gaming keyboard. It's their entry-level gaming keyboard, and it has membrane keys. Here on the nice quality box, we can see that it's a full-size layout, with no macro keys. At the back, it says that it has a streamlined and compact design. Hmm. Streamlined, yes. Compact? For a full-size layout, sure. It has a dynamic 5-zone RGB illumination, which means you can't assign custom lights per key, only to the 5 zones which are probably spread out horizontally across the keyboard. It has membrane switches for quiet operation, sure. Membrane switches are quieter than mechanical switches. It has a 20 million click life cycle, okay. Up to 24 anti-ghosting keys, which means you can press up to 24 buttons at the same time and all of those will register. I don't know why you would need to do that, but okay. And it has total control with Legion Accessory Central. Alright, that's a good one. Usually membrane keyboards nowadays don't come with any software, so this is pretty impressive. That's everything on the box, time to open it up. Inside we can see the keyboard in a bubble wrap to protect it from bumps during shipping. Under that are some manuals and documentation, and that's it. Pretty bare. Alright, here's the Lenovo Legion K300 RGB. I must say I'm no longer used to having a full-sized keyboard on my desk. Let's give you a tour of it. The build is mainly plastic and it's quite thick. This thing has some weight to it. There is some deck flex, which is characteristic of many membrane keyboards, since the switches don't necessarily need to be mounted onto a metal plate. They can mount directly to a PCB. There is a white plate under the keys, most probably to make the RGB lights shine brighter, and the key legends are transparent and are of a safe looking font. No weird Black Widow fonts here. Under the keyboard, there are two long stretches of rubber that will definitely keep it in place during fast and furious typing. There are two adjustable feet to increase the typing angle, and there are two drain holes. In the event that you spill something on the K300, water will be able to escape here. Not to say that this is a waterproof keyboard, I don't recommend taking a bath with this, but light accidental splashes of your favorite gaming drink probably won't kill it outright. Let's plug it in and see the light show. There you go. It looks pretty nice with the RGB all lit up. So let's head on over to the function row to see the controls. FNF4 controls the lighting brightness. It looks like we have three brightness settings for the RGB. Four if you include off. FNF5 controls the type of RGB lighting. It looks like we have RGB left to right, a breathing single color, this weird visor thing, Static single color, static RGB, breathing RGB, and that's everything. Pretty bare bones. Back to functions, F6 has mute, F7 is volume down, F8 is volume up, F9 to F11 has playback controls, and F12 is the shortcut to launch the Legion Accessory Central app. Let's bring it up and see what kind of features this keyboard has. So here at the Legion Accessory Central, we can see that it's recognizing the keyboard as the K300. Apparently, you can add profiles to it. That's good. Then apart from that, we can set parameters for keyboard lighting, and we can even set keyboard actions, which are macros or media functions. That's pretty cool. Lastly, there's Game Mode, which disables certain keys and keystrokes so you don't accidentally press them and interrupt your game. So yeah, that's everything, I think. For the last part, you know I have to do it. Let's do a sound test of the Lenovo K300 RGB gaming keyboard. Just so you have a reference, I'm going to give you a short typing passage on my RK61 with Gatterin Brown switches.
Now, here's the Lenovo Legion K300 RGB with membrane switches. Now that's mushy. So that's my unboxing and first impressions of the Lenovo Legion K300 RGB gaming keyboard. Do you have any questions about it? Let me know in the comments. And please do like the video and subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more straight to the point videos like this. My previous video was my reminder to all of you to exercise ownership. Have you seen it yet? Go watch it. It's pretty good. That's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.